Okay, so let's head out of this alley. And there's a kitty. Hello, kitty. But more importantly, it's the TV station. So let's head up these uh, stairs here to the TV station. It's a cool screen. Whoa, an outdoor TV! This is creepy. What is it? This noise is broadcast over most of the frequencies. Something has to be done about this before they can broadcast it over the air. Oh, really? Actually, I was wondering myself. The president's in the studio now, sir. Too many guards now, so we won't be able to storm the place, sir. So we can't just rush in. We've got to come up with a new plan now. If the president leaves, maybe the guards will be gone too. That's when we do our broadcast. It might not be as influential, but it's better than nothing, right? We don't stand a chance if we take him head on, right? Don't worry about us. We'll fight your enemies based on your decision. That's our duty. You tell us to go, we go. Even if it is a losing battle. <laughs> How sad. Act on my decision, that's your duty. Oh, what an easy life it must be just to follow orders. <laughs> Call it what you want. All we want is for you to achieve your goal using our help. I find it hard to believe that you can do it, though. Well, what did you say? If you have something to say, just say it. I'm gonna be nice. Forget it. You started it. The least you can do is finish it. Come on, what's on your mind? Just forget it. Tell me. This is an order. An order from your client. How serious are you? Really? The three of you plop down on the floor to discuss strategy? On top of that, you can't make a decision without our input, right? How do you think we feel working for such an organization? You're being too hard, man. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> oh, what? You know, maybe this was all a big mistake. I thought everything would work out fine when Seed came to help us. But I guess it's not that easy. You were all hired. It's not like you're one of us. Um, let's see. We'll cancel the plan and we'll disperse for now. We don't stand a chance if we take him head on, right? So you guys probably think this is all a game to us. Well, it's not. We're serious. Humph! So serious it hurts. <laughs> hey, there's Selfie. Hey! Are they starting? Dun dun dun. <laughs> All the stage hands. They look exactly the same. It's just like clones of a guy. Just got a bunch of clones around. Testing. One, two, testing, testing. Ooh. People of the world, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a recording. This is an actual broadcast over the air. Yes, it's been 17 years since a live broadcast has been possible. Um, oh, please excuse me. I seem to have lost my composure. We would like to present to you today a message from the lifelong president of Galbadia, Vinja Dooling, or Delling, or whatever the fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, President Delling. My pinstripe suit and I will stand to the side here. <laughs> there he is. He looks kind of like uh, Nixon mixed with Reagan, I guess. That's what he looks like. Greetings, I am Vinza Delling, lifelong president of Galbadia. Today I stand before you to make the following proposition. We, the people of this world, have the power to end all wars. See, see, it's a peace proposal to the world, I knew it! Unfortunately, there are some trifling problems standing between Galbadia and other nations, and they must be resolved. I plan to convene with other nations' leaders immediately to resolve these problems. At this time, allow me to introduce the ambassador who will be my representative for the conference. Man, all this... I mean... Man, all this just to introduce an ambassador? The ambassador is the sorceress. 
The sorceress? Hey! Cypher! Or Cypher! Whoa. The camera. Oh, the ca I was so confused for a second, and then I was like, oh, the camera. What? Selfie, what's he doing? Instructor should pay. Stay back! Squall, what are we gonna do? For the last time, stay back. You're only gonna provoke him. Nothing. Our job is to assist the owls. It's none of our business. Timber team, are you watching? Get over here right now. You have permission. I need your help. We're a timber team. Team Timber. Squall! Squad leader! Let's get on. It's moving on up. Okay, wait, I need to check and see if Selfie is equipped with all that shit, and she's totally not. So we need to do a uh, junction exchange, but we're gonna do that with Switch. So we'll junction exchange Renoa for Selfie. There we go. Sweet. And I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna uh, switch some magic around real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just uh, switched some magic around and uh, made sure that everybody's, like I gave, made sure that uh, people have like a hundred of stuff, and then the leftovers I gave to other people. So here we were in the TV station, obviously. We need to restrain him. What do you think you're doing? It's obvious, ain't it? What are you planning to do with this guy? Planning to do? That's right. He knows Renoa. Is that why he's here? I get it. You're Renoa's. Shut your damn mouth, chicken wuss. He broke out of the disciplinary room, injuring many in the process. Yo, stupid idiot! Cell, so, please, be quiet. Instructor, I know! You're gonna take the stupid idiot back to garden, right? Shut up! No! I see, so you're all from garden. Yeah, Zell's not too bright. Should anything happen to me, the entire Galbadian military will undoubtedly crush garden. You can let go of me now. Nice going, chicken wuss. You and your stupid big mouth. Oh, poor Zell. Take care of this mess, instructor and Mr. Leader. Right, um, is there anything around here that we can grab? Anything? No, okay, fuck it, let's just go. <laughs> away from me. Such a confused little boy. Are you going to step forward? Retreat? You have to decide. Stay back! The boy in you is telling you to come. The adult in you is telling you to back off. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. You want help, don't you? You want to be saved from this predicament. Shut up! Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Besides, you're only a little boy. I'm not! Stop calling me a boy! You don't want to be a boy anymore? <laughs> I am not a boy! Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your childhood. He waves his gun goodbye. He's like, yep, yeah, see you later. Yeah, and she stuns all the rest of them too. And Cypher walks off with this crazy witch bitch into her little wall portal thing. Yeah. What? <laughs> Hey guys! Where's Cypher? We don't know. <laughs> yeah, it'd be too hard to explain that he just walked through a portal with some crazy bitch. He'll be okay, right?
fade to white. And I guess we run back down now. They found our base. It's completely destroyed. And everyone else? They're fine. They're good at escaping. Oh, so the forest owl's base got trashed. Where? There we are. <laughs> We have to stay a while, or we have to stay away from timber for a while. Is there a safe place you can take me? This is an order. An order from your client, remember. Alright. <laughs> they just run off. Oh, and there's a new draw point here, so it's a scan, which isn't that great, but whatever. So let's give it a selfie, because I believe selfie has our other scans. Uh, and we're going to end this episode off here. So uh, in the next episode, we are going to be taking Renoa with us and getting away from Timber. So escaping Timber and going to a new area we've never seen before. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing that in the next episode. So this is the Stoned Up here signing off. I'll see you guys next time.